Hello and welcome to the workshop. We are back in the lab with a brand new pair of sneakers. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do a brand new video almost every single day. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And with that said, let's jump right in and see what we got. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Pharrell and Adidas NMD Human Trail, now is her time in black. I know that is a very long title for a sneaker. These just released and retail was 220 bucks. Now these were a part of a whole collection. Really cool message that Pharrell and Adidas kind of put together. Now is her time focusing on women's rights. I always love when a sneaker or a collection can bring a positive message or shed some light on an aspect that deserves it or needs it or you know just positivity is what it's all about and i think it's really cool because i'm such a fan of sneakers to see that done through sneakers that's the point that i'm trying to make now as far as this sneaker goes most of you have seen plenty of these pharrell and adidas collaborations at this point it's not something that's new this is a very simple colorway all black upper gum bottom i absolutely love gum bottoms if you know me you know that infinite species embroidered on the top of the shoe round laces and these are 3m by the way also some adidas branding on the back boost as you can see and it is blacked out is boost still life that's a very good question. Whether it is or it isn't, I still think this is a really nice sneaker. I'm kind of tired of the silhouette, to be honest. I've kind of come full circle, I guess, with this sneaker and with the Pharrell and Adidas stuff. Initially, I didn't like them. Then they grew on me, and now they're kind of whatever to me again. I just think it's been a little bit overdone. I will tell you what I do like, though. The price. I remember the Pharrell stuff sold for astronomical prices. Granted, certain pairs probably still do, but it's so much better better than it was in that regard and obviously i'm talking about the resale prices the retail is not that cheap at all but man i can remember liking some sneakers and they were like 1500 bucks 1800 bucks and now you don't see that nearly as often it's funny how quick things change now boost almost feels like it's on its way out with the exception of yeezys probably i still love boost because it is so comfortable cozy boy certified but i gotta admit i don't wear say an ultra boost nearly as much as i did a year or two ago i always have a pair or two on deck but basically at this point they're never in the daily rotation anymore and they used to always be times like this are good though because if you actually genuinely like a sneaker or a particular model now is the time where you can go back and buy them for cheap or cheaper than they once were and as i mentioned the message that comes along with this pair in particular is very dope as well never a bad thing to put your money towards something with a positive message anyway those are my thoughts how do you feel about them like them love them hate them what's the word how do you feel about boost is it dead is it alive and well how do you feel about this collection or pharrell collabs in general how do you feel about the now is her time campaign you know one of the things about sneakers it's art at the end of the day we've talked about that a lot and i'm not trying to get like overly dramatic here but similar to music or a painting you really can communicate a message you really can spread positivity through the medium that is sneakers and i think that that's really really cool personally but leave a comment below and let us know how you feel always love to hear from you thank you for watching you are very very appreciated we will be back tomorrow same time same place right here at the workshop until then adios Thank you.